Hi everyone, this is Colette. Welcome back to my channel. I know I probably look like a Smurf, but yeah, it's the reason why I look like a Smurf today. So, I wanted to give you guys a quick update, um, not update, but first impression video on the um, Milani. I can't remember the name of the collection, but it is the blue collection that they have out. These are mascaras. This is the lips, the lipstick, and this is what is on my lip. Now, um, so we can get a little bit closer in here. I wiggle my way up. Okay. So on this eye, as you can see, I have the blue mascara on, and this one is in Mediterranean blue, number two hundred and eleven, Mediterranean blue, because I wanted it to match my top. And of the two. The Mediterra Mediterranean blue comes closest. Okay. Now, you may be wondering what's going on. Oh, my eyeliner is this one from Fergie Collection, Wet n Wild. And I have that on my waterline. And I have the Mediterranean blue on my lash line and also up here. Um, I have a normal blue, not blue, but black master. Master Precise liner to line the eyes and um, this eye I was going to do on camera for you guys so I have this color from the chocolate palette and let me just pop that on there just to show you and then we'll talk a little about the lipstick so this is what I did I just because my brows need to be done and everything and I wanted to really do a quick first impression video and I think for the blue mascara I don't want to do a bold look I figure something nice and neutral and light going out during the daytime here would suffice so all I did was pop that color on the lid don't ask me what the name is because the piece of insert is somewhere in the drawer yeah so I'm just popping that on the lid. And on my lid I had placed down this Milani Brow and Eye Highlights, the lighter side from the matte beige one, and that's that. Then I'm going to use my 217 brush, I think it is, it's from MAC. And I'm going to use that Milk Chocolate, I remember the name of this one, <laughs> Milk Chocolate. I'm just going to buff that into this area just to smooth it out like so smooth out the edges and just define the crease just a little bit see that just that it's just a simple daytime look I'm experimenting so that's that then I'm gonna go in and use this just to line the eyes real quick the blue liner and then we're gonna do the first impression live with that blue mascara so you can see and then we'll talk about it a little bit okay that's pretty much all I want to do with my eyeliner and the eyes right about now that's that okay sometimes I can't send these felt tips because when they get color on them they just act a fool after a while. So I'm just placing this blue liner from Wet n Wild, the Fergie collection, onto my waterline, just like that, easily. And this one is actually called um, Hi Hi is it Kaprisky? Yeah, Kaprisky. Kaprisky? 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 Whatever. Waste my time. Underneath that, I'm going to use my Tarte black eyeliner and just run it along here very close to the lash line under there and then I'm gonna use this the smudger edge and just smudge it a wee bit before it dries just a little bit that's all that one's a little bit more smudged than this one but whatever there, they kind of look even, sort of, kind of, sort of. Okay, 
So that's pretty much the eye look. My brows I'm not going to worry about because I've put a little bit of color on there and closing up the chocolate bar palette. Ooh, smells divine, I tell you. Okay, so that is it. Now, here's the mascara. And first impression, love the brush. Look at that brush. It comes out fully coated and it's not one of those where you have to take the top off and then put it in and wet the brush and, and wiggle it. No, it just comes inserted. So you just open it, pull, and look at that brush. The bristles are small, nice firm edges, and they do grab and hold your lashes. So I'm going to just apply that. I have no primer on my lash as in like a white primer to make the color pop nothing but look at that blue that just came up look at that that's just like the color is off the chain and it just grabs the lash and I think I just got a little bit of blue something up there I'll fix it in the world of makeup sometimes you mess up but whatever part of life right But yeah, you just start at the base, wiggle it up, and that's one coat, so if you guys can tell. See, it's a full bodied, very opaque blue color, and I absolutely love that it is. Let me just push this back in here and fix where I messed up with a little bit of blue using this color here just dabbing it over here yeah there we go yeah sometimes you gotta do that okay so guys that is just one coat looking at the time thing that is one coat of the blue mascara you see how pretty that is the texture is very nice. It's not too wet. It's not dry. Um, I really like it. First impression is I like it because I don't have to prime my eyelash in order to get this color to be seen. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. And then I'm just popping some on my bottom lashes as you can see. I hope my lighting is really doing this justice because I need a new camera. I'm filming on the iPad. Yeah. Because I just had to share this with you guys live. Okay. All right. And th that's the two coats. I am absolutely amazed. I'm going to wear this for a few more days and then give you my final assessment on it. But first impression, I really, really, really like this. Now for the lips. I'm a little disappointed with the lips because me, my lip look, my teeth look yellow, and yeah, this is not a good. I don't think they did justice with the lipstick. I hate the packaging because it reminds me of this Jordana. I think they're there's this the same company. They own Jordana or, or Jordana owns them. Whatever, I don't care. But I think for what we pay for Milani. Um, and the quality we've come to expect from Milani, they could have done better with the packaging. That's number one. Number two, they, um, I don't know, it's just, it's a silky, it's not matte. It's a very shiny, silky, blue lipstick. It's a, it has a sheen. I got it on my teeth, didn't I? I'm sorry if you hear the lawn people outside there, like really of all the days. Anyway, I'm, I'm not liking the lipstick, but I'm going to wear it today and see what gives. The texture is very silky. It's very smooth. Um, it slides around a little much. It reminds me of the um, those NYX round lipsticks that you put them on and they just kind of slide around. And I think they could have done better with the blue. As you can see on my lips, 
it's not a full bodied um, blue lipstick. I've seen better and I want to get one that's really really nice and blue but I think they missed the mark on the blue lipstick. Um, my opinion. Hey. Um, what else? Price 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 point. This is $1.99 if you get it from Kmart or 99 cents if you find it at the beauty supply store, right? That's the Jordana lipsticks in the same tubing. This I got at Walgreens and I dropped it. And it just has the Milani logo. This one is called Bella Blue, the, um, the color of the lipstick. They have a mascara also called Bella Blue, but I didn't find that when I went today. This was $3.99. So were the mascaras, both of them. The mascara, yes, now that I've used it, it's worth $3.99. This could go for $1.99. I think they really missed the mark on this. This blue lipstick, I, I, no. But I'm going to wear it today and see what happens. But let me take that thing out of my hair. But that is it, guys. Um, so first impression, I really like the mascara. Love that the texture is full-bodied. Um, it's opaque. It's a bright blue eyeshadow um, mascara. If you like blue mascaras, then if you can find this, pick it up. I absolutely adore blue mascara during the summertime. So this is an awesome find. But the lipstick... Mm, I'm not feeling the lipstick at all. So just the texture of the lipstick throws me and um, the fact that it makes my teeth look yellow. And I don't have the most gorgeous teeth. I know that. Okay. But yeah, because I need braces. Close that in gaps. But listen. Nah. Okay. So I'm going to slap something on my face and call it a day. But thank you for watching this first impression video. Thank you for your time and subscribe so you can see my next videos. Bye.